I call the number a couple of times, uh, just rings and rings, doesn't go into voicemail, nobody answers. You probably expect something like this to happen because you have to remember the number was given out live on national state television, probably not just the BBC and media organizations, but a lot of Venezuelans might have made a note of it and been trying to ring it. So nobody's actually answering at the moment. But the minister probably does only have one number. He must have different mobile numbers. So it's not like it's unlikely that he's giving out his own personal number that he gives out to the family. Uh, but it's still an unusual story, and um, critics might probably argue that it's a desperate attempt to, for, by the government to tackle insecurity and uh, uh, violence and police corruption in this case. You have to remember this comes in the wake of uh, the murder of uh, a very popular actress and former beauty queen, uh, Monica Spear, and her former husband were gunned down on Monday, and the crime caused public outrage, really affected a lot of Venezuelans. And, were saying this is too much. Uh, you look at cr crime statistics, it's one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Uh, some people, uh, some organizations say uh, up to nearly 25,000 people were killed last year. The government disputes this figure, but they do realize that crime is a problem in the country, and not just for rich people, but for everybody. And so they're trying to, at least trying to appear like they're doing something.